It's uh, Hodaka Yamada, who is a graduate student in electrical engineering at Osaka City University. And further to our theme of 360 degree viewable displays, he will be speaking on 360 degree three dimensional display with the virtual display surface. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm Hodaka Yamada. I'm a graduate student of, my, uh, of Osaka City University. I would like to thank you for your time today. The theme of my presentation is 360 degree, three dimensional display with a virtual display surface. This slide is the outline of my presentation. First, introduction. I will talk the background of my research. Second, I make a comparison between the rotating mirror system and the microlens array system. Third, I propose the system which use the microlens array. And then, I will explain the experimental results. Finally, I will summarize my talk. First, introduction. An omnidirectional 3D display, like this figure, is needed as a tool for the cooperative work in the field of medical science and uh, product design and development and so on. In those fields, it is required that the interactive omnidirectional 3D display system, which displays directly touchable 3D image. To achieve such a display, the light field display has attracted attention. The reconstruct method is a method to display 3D images. We recognize the 3D object by observing light ray come from the surface. The 3D display reconstructs light rays reflected by the object. The 3D display makes 3D pixels by using those light rays. When the 3D display reconstructs light rays exactly, we can see the natural 3D image. Previously, the many 3D display which use a lot of projector and uh, rotating mechanisms, have been proposed to extend the viewing angle of the 3D, 3D, 3D object. And this is uh, one of the typical system which use a uh, rotating mechanism. Uh, this system, which use a uh, high-speed projector and rotating mirror ha, uh, have been, uh, no, so and it can be observed from 360 degree. It displays the omnidirectional 3D images by changing the projected image, which is correspond to the direction of the mirror. It, this system can uh, high quality images, but there is problem. The observer cannot touch directly 3D images because the rotating mirror is a physical obstruction. In this study, to overcome this problem, we proposed a system which controls the light rays by using uh, combi combi combination of the holographic microlens array and an LCD. Our proposed system is the omnidirectional 3D display system, which displays directly touchable 3D image. The proposed system is composed of multiple basic display units instead of the rotating mirror. The basic display unit consi consists of an LCD and a holographic microlens array. 
that each micro lens uh, irradiated of the irradiated uh, light rays to the desirable directions, which were controlled by pixel information of the LCD, like a light field display. The irradiation angle of the light ray from each micro lens corresponds to rotating angle of the rotating mirror. In other words, when n light rays are irradiated from each micro lens at theta dash by n minus one degree intervals, one basic display unit is equivalent to the rotating screen having rotation angle theta dash degree. This figure shows the comparison of the rotating mirror system and micro lens array system. When the rotating angle theta is equal to the irradiation angle theta dash, the micro lens array system has equivalent effect to the rotating mirror system. But the viewing angle of the single basic display unit is narrow. So we extend the viewing angle by using multiple basic display unit. The multiple basic display units are imaged at the center of the each display in impeller form and by relay optics. We extend the viewing angle of the 3D display by using multiple basic display units. But it is not possible to overlap the actual display uh, physically. So we overlap the multiple basic display in impeller form by using relay optics. By using relay lens, and the uh, right rays from basic display units are gathered at the long distance from basic display unit. We construct the proposed system by using this imaged basic display unit. This figure shows the omnidirectional 3D display system. The multi basic display units are aligned in the circle and imaged at the center of the circle in impeller form by relay optics. The display surface of the proposed system is virtual screen, which is composed of multiple 3D pixels. Uh, 3D pixels are spaced in uh, cylindrical shapes. So the virtual screen is not a physical obstruction. The observed 3D images are directly touchable. And then the 3D pixels are made at focal points of the light ray, which are constant controlled by micro lens. The virtual screen, which is the display surface of the proposed system, is composed of, uh, composed of those 3D pixels. Let W be the pixel size of the LCD, and L be the size of the, um, each micro lens and F be focal length of the each micro lens, the radius of the virtual screen, virtual display surface is this equation. In this study, we use a holographic micro lens. The each holographic micro lens works as a cylindrical lens with angle of theta, view theta horizontally so the observed 3D image have a parallax only in the horizontal direction. And 
it is possible to diffract the optical axis at the elevation angle. When we uh, align the multiple basic display in the circle to extend the viewing angle, an observer cannot observe a 3D image by opposite side display unit. So the basic display unit displays 3D image on a diagonal by using this feature. So we can look down a 3D image like this figure. This slide shows the specification of the basic display unit. The viewing angle of the single basic display unit is 15 degree. And the elevation angle of the holographic micro lens is 40 degree. And the number of emitted light rays from each 3D pixel is 6. This, pic this is a picture of the basic display unit and the relay lens. When N light rays are irradiated from the each micro lens at theta by N minus 1 degree intervals, one basic display unit is equivalent to the rotation, rotating mirror having rotation angle theta plus theta by N minus 1 degree. The required number of basic display unit to realize the virtual cylindrical display surface, which is observed from 360 directions, is this value. We construct the prototype system by using eight basic display units to verify the effectiveness of the proposed method. The prototype system is a part of the proposed system. The angular interval between each basic display unit is 18 degrees. The radius of the virtual display surface is 10.62 mm. The viewing angle of the pro prototype system is 144 degrees. This is a picture of the prototype system. This figure shows the observed 3D images at, at the each viewpoint. In prototype system, one basic display unit is equivalent to the rotating mirror, rotating mirror having rotation angle 18 degree. So the 360 degree 3D display can be achieved by 20 basic display units. And in this study, we use an iPod as, a, as an LCD. So the radius of the virtual screen size is 10.62 millimeter. This is a virtual screen size, and, but the, the object the radius is uh, 42.6 millimeter. It can be displayed, uh, ob the object can be displayed from uh, uh, this virtual screen from more over 10.3 millimeter. So it is possible to increase the radius of the virtual screen size by using large LCD and large size of holographic micro lens. Finally, I'd like to summarize my talk. We propose the omnidirectional 3D display system with virtual display surface. We verified experimentally the effectiveness of the proposed display. The viewing angle of the 3D image was 144 degree, and there are no flipped image. Additionally, uh, observed 3D images were directly touchable. 
Thank you for your attention.